So in this module, we will talk about the intent, classifying the intent. When the user is performing a search, what does the user has or have in her, her or his mind? What is the purpose of that search? Now, what happens is that traditionally when people develop a website or a web page or they develop content, they are targeting at the keywords. The keywords which will bring their page at the top good ranking position. But what they forget is the intent of the user. The content should address the intent of the user. The intent could be the user is interested in knowing something. The user is interested in buying something. The user is interested in doing something. And the list goes on. But of course, it is not a very wide list. So the point is that how to classify the intent of the user so that your results are getting good positions when they are produced by a search engine. So Google has looked at this thing in a lot of detail and this module will discuss about the intents and how to classify them. So this is the module coverage which I'll be addressing. Uh, science behind the intent, the queries with multiple meanings, the do, know and go type of queries and of course the internet journey which was used to be and which now is different. In the previous module, I talked about the funnel journey. Okay, but that journey has changed like a crazy straw. So I'll talk about it towards the end of this module. So let's go ahead. So the science behind the intent. What is the purpose of the search? Okay, why the user is searching? So it is the information intent. The user wants to know about something, wants to do research about something. That is the information intent. Navigation intent is the user wants to go to a specific site. If I am typing Facebook, then I am interested in going to the Facebook. Okay, so that is the navigation intent. That is not the information intent. The transaction intent is that I am interested in buying something. I may be interested in buying something from Amazon or from, uh, from any other uh, place, from an online bookstore also, or any other uh, uh, purchase site. So that is the transaction intent. So I am typing the keywords such that I would like to make a purchase. And then is the commercial investigation intent. I would like to know about a competitor. I would like to know about a company. I would like to know about a business. So you see that although I am typing the keywords, but these are different. See, for example, you can see there are these four categories, four categories of intent. Okay. So these, so which are, so when a user types certain keywords, this is the intent or this is the intent. So based upon the intent, the results are displayed by the search engine. Okay. And the, the, the results which are displayed, they should be addressing those intent. And how would the search engine know? The search engine will know about the intent, not only based upon the keywords, but how you have optimized your website for search engine optimization. So when the user types in the keywords, there can be multiple meanings associated with the query, multiple meanings, okay? One is the dominant interpretations, okay? Dominant interpretation. These are all interpretations. So dominant interpretation now Google has, has uh, directed, has implemented in the algorithms that what was to be done for the dominant interpretations. Okay, that is thing clear. Then there are the common interpretations. So if type Mercury, okay. So this is the planet Mercury or this is the element Mercury. Okay, so this is the common interpretations. And to be on the safe side, both results are displayed. A combination of the planet and the combination of the element Mercury also. 
and then are the minor interpretations these minor interpretations they are dependent upon the locale now if we look at some of these keywords or the sum of the actions so for example look at the actions the action is find a gas station looking for something okay find 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 so based upon find an address okay so these are something which are common send a text message send a text message send a tweet okay call mom right so we see that the intents over here are different the intents are different so based upon the intents the results are displayed right so the intents trans so the intents translate into the results so that is the key over here okay now what has changed over the years mobile search has surpassed desktop search now when the mobile search has surpassed the desktop search it means that the searches can be locale okay the searches can be dependent upon the current and latest events a person moving around with a mobile phone find something observe something performs a search okay so as a result google is getting 15% queries which are never seen before now people instead of sitting in their rooms and looking for something typing searching people are on the road right they they are part of an event they hear something they look at something and then using that mobile device in their hand they type on it they perform a search so the type of search is different okay so at the time there's a more time is spent online in countries like united states in countries like china countries like brazil countries like pakistan more time is spent by the users online and that time spent online is not on their pcs or desktop or or laptops it is on a handheld mobile device so google has been addressing what type of queries are coming and one thing is diff is different or it is like uh, what has been observed that people might perform a search look for something over a handheld device but they would make a purchase when they are in their office on their pc or the laptop at their home that is where they make a purchase so the search is specific to handheld device but the purchase is not so the google cat caters to all of these things and your website should be addressing all of these aspects so we are looking at three types of queries we have this do know and go queries do are the action queries buy something okay book a service book a ticket make a reservation buy a book those are the do transactional queries then there are no queries no as in knowledge know about something micro moments you hear a news you perform a search want to know about something you hear a word on the news and you would like to know about it those are the micro moments and then are the specific queries if a person wants to know about the puma shoes and you present the adidas that person is not interested so these are the specific to the website queries okay so this is finally the modern online buyers so this is the awareness okay traditionally then the consideration and the purchase okay now this used to be the linear but that is not the case you see that consideration research and discovery loop this goes on make the purchase and then the loyalty loop okay this is liquid this is liquid this the result is liquid and this is also liquid so this journey has totally changed this is not the linear journey this is not the linear journey which used to be times have changed so one has to change with the time that is the message thank you for your time